स्पॉटलाइट में आपका स्वागत है मैं हूं आपकी होस्ट अमिता जॉन मी वीकली एस आई टॉक टू इंस्पायरिंग गेस्ट हु विल शेयर देयर सक्सेस स्टोरीज आज हमारे साथ स्टूडियो में है वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट कार डीलर्स इन कैनेडा ही रब्स शोल्डर्स विद सेलिब्रिटीज लीडर्स एंड द नेशनल बास्केटबॉल एसोसिएशन इट इज विद ग्रेट प्लेजर दैट आई वेलकम टू आर शो द ऑफिशियल टोरटो रैप्टर सुपर फैन मिस्टर नव भाटिया Mr Bhatia it's a pleasure to have you with us Thank you very much Pehle hame aapke bare mein kuch bataiye like how, what is your journey to Canada been like your upbringing education Well I'm a, I'm a mechanical engineer by education I was uh, born and brought up in India and in 1984 I migrated to Canada and there was the time which was not a really that great of a time in india because we had uh, anti sikh riots going in delhi and other parts of india and a uh, lot of sikhs were massacred during that time mm-hmm. and that's the time what the family decided that we should move out of india and canada was uh, the country which accepted us and uh, so i was the first one in the family to move to toronto with my wife and uh, we were very happy we were in a safe country but uh, finding a job here was very tough mm. uh, being a sikh mm. uh, and uh, new to the country it was very difficult but i did odd jobs here and there and finally i landed up uh, as a car salesman in a dealership in rexdale called rexdale honda and that's where i started my journey and uh, you know uh from that then i went uh, to become a manager and a general manager and then i became a general manager of mrs saga wundai and uh, uh since then arrest is a history we are the i was the number one salesman in the country i sold with god grace and my hard work 127 cars in 3 months which was a record at that time and still is a record and i became the general manager in a very quick period I was very passionate about what I do and uh, I was very good with the people because I love people of all kinds and to I wanted to be treated uh, I want I always treat my people the customers like I want to be treated myself mm-hmm. and that was the reason I was able to sell a lot of cars and from there my journey started and I became a Hyundai dealer and the uh, rest is history I love it. Uh, I I know this uh, bad circumstances pushed you out of India but for us we are lucky that you're here and you're able to use your position that you have right now to spread the love uh, reduce tensions between different cultures. Uh but I have to ask you what is your secret? You put uh, into words exactly what a lot of new immigrants uh, voice you know the challenges that they have to face sometimes because you yourself uh, you said by education you're a mechanical engineer but when it when you came here it was a bit of a struggle so what is your secret to you know stay strong in the face of all those struggles yes you know, believe in yourself believe doesn't matter if you are a hindu you are a sikh you are a christian you are a jain if you believe in something believe it because at the end of the day if you look deep inside everybody has more in common than the differences and differences are so superficial that it doesn't matter and that's the message which i use in order to integrate with the other communities and that became my passion actually to become a ambassador in a in a humble way to promote our community the south asians and the sikhs in the mainstream mm. so that's what i continue and i use the game of basketball now to do that yeah, exactly yes yeah, so I... that's what i'm doing using the game of basketball with the young kids underprivileged kids uh, you know we have uh, i was made the ambassador a no i was made the super fan in 98 nice because i was the loudest guy on the on the are in the arena to support my team so i was made the uh, super fan and after that then something happened with me i was at a phone place getting my phone fixed mm-hmm. and somebody thought 
that I was the cab driver. And that really changed my thinking that how we are still perceived. And that was in 99 that we are still perceived because a lot of Sikhs, my brothers drive the cab in Toronto and other places. And I'm proud of them because I believe in the dignity of labor. That's a hard work driving a cab. But I said, you know, they still have, we, our community leaders haven't done enough to teach the mainstream that what we are all about, that we can be, the Sikhs can be uh, teachers, they can be car dealers, they can be pharmacists, they can be doctors, they can be engineers, they can be anything they want to be. But people, this is stereotype things, oh, we only work in the factories and drive cabs. That was in 99 at that time. So I said, you know, I got to do something. So I went to my Raptors, I was the super fan at that time. So I went to the Raptors and I said, I want a game dedicated, celebrating our New Year's for the Sikhs called Besaki mm -hmm. in April. Mm -hmm. And I brought thousands of kids during that game and we still do. It is in running for 15 years now. We still bring a lot of underprivileged kids from all sort of communities. Sikhs, Hindu, Muslims, Christians, everybody. We bring them to the game so that our kids can sit together with each other mm -hmm. and understand that we all have the same passion deep inside. Enjoy the game. We might look different. We are different. Mm -hmm. We wear different stuffs, but in deep inside, our passion is the same. And that is the thing I continue promoting for last 15 years. And now we have two games. We have a, 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 a Besaki Day game in April. And then in November, we do a game. It was a Diwali game, Diwali Day game. But this time we did a superhero games celebrating the heroes of the community and the young kids. Amazing. I love it. You're humble. You use your passion to help others and not uh, just stay where you are within your comfort zone. Want to find out more? They can use it before they take a break. Spotlight may first say, Aapka Swagat hai. In 2015, Mr. Nav Bhatia was appointed Community Ambassador for the Toronto Raptors and he was asked to report to Global Ambassador Drake and they have come together to spread the love of basketball and to help the youth. It's amazing, your passion is changing lives everywhere. So we were talking about, yes, you have become the official, uh, you know, super fan for the Toronto Raptors. But if I take a step back, how did you develop a love for basketball? Well, you know, when I uh, first came here, we are busy, you know, from 84 till 93, 94, you are busy settling down, finding a job, buying a home, settling down the family, climatizing yourself in the new country, in your new environment. But after that, at that time, I was comfortable and the Raptors came. Mm -hmm. And I used to watch the games in the early 90s on, the te on television. And uh, Dr. J was there, there were the big time players, Dr. J, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Michael Jordan, all those. And then in 95, the Raptors came to Toronto mm -hmm. as a new franchise. And that was a dream come true. And I started, I started with two tickets and uh, now I got 12 tickets. But, uh, you know, that's how my passion grew and all that. And I start promoting basketball because I believe basketball, like I've told, you know, I've mentioned that basketball I bring the communities together through the game of basketball. I love it. Yeah, so as we heard, like, you know, uh, you're not just helping the community, but also promoting the culture, as we already heard about, you know, Baisaki and Diwali. Uh, and th this year you said about the superhero special That's you know, right. edition. Yes. That's amazing. And I'm, uh, I'm sure the Toronto Raptors are also, you know, blessed to have you uh, because having somebody like yourself, you know, uh, help promote them also gives them uh, the confidence, the encouragement to do better in the games as well. Well, that's true. But also, let me tell you, for the last five years in a row, mm -hmm. Toronto Raptors, out of the 30 teams we have in the NBA, gets an award for the diversity 
that they are the number one team to get more ethnic communities into the arena than any other team. So they are very good and I want to actually credit the Toronto Raptors for being a very inclusive corporation. I wish that the teams in the other cities all around the world are as inclusive as Toronto Raptors because they are the one who gave me this opportunity, worked with me to make it happen. And that's why <clears throat> we have the most diversified crowd in Air Canada Centre. When you come to watch the game, you see how beautiful it looks. We have people from everywhere. We have girls from everywhere. And in the last year or so, I'm so blessed to see girls with hijabs and burqa coming to the game. That's amazing. And that's what I'm all about. And that's that's why I say you're a blessing for them. And I'm sure a lot of the other teams around the world are wishing for somebody like you to be part of their team as well. You're highly coveted for that. And that's what you're promoting culture, you're promoting unity. And uh, beyond the game of basketball, too, you do the same. It's like a 24-7 thing that you do. You're even credited for bringing uh, Bollywood to Canada. So yes. tell us a little bit more about well, that. Well, you know, in 90, when I, 95, 96, I was comfortable. I had a good job. I was a, having a dealership and I was blessed. So when I used to go and watch Bollywood cinema, we had to go to the third rated cinemas because there was no, no quality cinemas for, this, for the Bollywood. So I, I, I got bothered by that that why can't we, why we have to do, uh, go to a theater which is underrated, mm. which is, uh, I want the theater, same theater, I want the Bollywood movie to play where the mainstream movies play, where the mainstream people go, that's where our movie should play. So I started in 97 with the first movie called Hum Saath Saath Hai. Nice. So I took that and after that I brought a lot of movies because I wanted to see my people, my South Asian people, the women, the guys, everybody coming in their own traditional dresses to watch their Bollywood cinema. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened. Cineplex and AMC at the time helped me out and we now you see Bollywood movie plays at 60 theaters all over Canada and America also. So it spread to America also, mm -hmm. and I'm very happy and blessed that I was a part in bringing that up. Love it. You're a pioneer, you're a trailblazer, and we need more, we need to clone you really, so that we can have, uh, you know, so much a peace in the world, you know, bringing all the cultures together, all the people together. It's amazing. And that's all it is. Yeah. You just said the key word, peace together, because deep inside, like I say, we are, we have more in common than differences. We all, you know, can love each other. Doesn't matter if we are wearing a turban, we are wearing a hijab, we are wearing a burqa, we are wearing a sari, we are wearing jeans. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It's deep inside. We are all the same. Our passions are the same. And we love each other. Awesome. I, I, but I don't, honestly don't know how you do it without cloning yourself. Because again, you don't stop there either. I, I understand your ambassadors or even for different organizations. And uh, most recently, we hear about this amazing project that you're ambassador for with World Vision Canada. Tell us a little bit more. Yes, I, you know, uh, about a few months ago, uh, World Vision approached us and uh, they wanted to do something. And we did all the sort of due diligence that how I can, I get invited to a lot of organizations, but I'm, I, I need to be passionate about the projects. Mm. I don't jump on every project. Well said. <clears throat> so we studied it. We wanted to make sure that World Vision as an organization, how much money they collect and how much money goes to the project itself. To me, it's very important that to be transparent in everything. Mm -hmm. And so we studied them and we decided and they came up with a project which is very dear to my heart. It's a project about girls in India who cannot go to school because there is no washrooms in those schools. You know, there are 63 million girls in India who don't go to school because the lack of washroom facilities in schools. So we have started a project, Daughters of India, 
.ca. Mm -hmm. It is to provide in a village called Farid Court in Punjab. There are going to be 20 schools. We are going to help to put three washrooms, girls' washroom, in these 20 schools. We are starting with five schools now, where we are going to collect, our target is to collect $50,000 mm -hmm. and make 15 washrooms in these five schools so that the girls can go to school and we can, uh, they don't have to worry about going outside the school for washroom mm -hmm. where sometimes they are sexually abused, raped mm -hmm. and all those things, which is a shame. And girls, everybody's education is very important to me, but especially the girls. Because when you teach a boy, you are teaching an individual. When, when you educate a girl, you educate a village. Wow, profound, yes. So that's what we are involved in. And uh, we have just started that. They have I've been blessed as their global ambassador for this project. And I can and, see you're wearing it. And I'm wearing, this is the yes. jersey, which I was presented by World Vision. And I hope I can come to their expectations and we can make this project a success and we can educate a lot of girls and make a better world. And we will and we want to find out more about the project. But before that, it's time for a short break. Spotlight mein fir se aapka swagat hai. So we are talking to Mr. Nav Bhatia, who is ambassador for the World Vision Project, Rise Up Daughters of India. So we were just talking about that. Uh, so uh, where can our viewers find out more information? Well, they can find it on daughtersofindia.ca mm -hmm. and uh, or they can get in touch with World Vision. Mm -hmm. They are a very good organization. I'm very impressed with them what they do for the humanity. So anybody, any of the viewers, if they want to help us in this project, daughtersofindia.ca is the place to go and make the commitments and you will get a receipt also, taxable receipt on this. And uh, we will be really grateful for you to be a part. Doesn't matter what amount mm -hmm. to be a part in this good cause. Amazing, and it's like you said, you only uh, support a cause if you believe in it. Yes. And we already heard like uh, what a difference it makes to educate the girls. Uh, it really changes the whole village, the whole world, and you will be doing a great part in it. So yes, we are here. I'm going to be supporting. You are going to be supporting, and Mr. Navbatia is supporting us as as well. So that's true. It's great. And you're also, again, uh, Mr. Bhatia wears multiple hats and I honestly don't know, I need to know your secret for all this energy and uh, almost eternal youth. You also ambassadors for many other organizations. Again, the key word being you want to bring uh, unity. I want to bring love with each other. Doesn't matter how they look, what religion they are, what gender they are. And I use whatever I have to give for that and basketball, I use that game of basketball in order to do that. Mm -hmm. So that people all over the world can see that, look, this guy looks different. He doesn't look like a basketball athlete, but look at the love I get from all the basketball players, all the teams, and everywhere I go. I go to London, England for a basketball game. I get so much love. Everybody knows that I love basketball, I love people. And I think this is the word we want to spread that mm. we are one world all together. Amazing. You, you are the face, as I said, of peace, unity, probably through basketball, not just basketball, many other projects, including Rise Up Daughters of India project. I'm going to digress for a bit with everything that you do for the community. And I have to ask you, uh, do you have uh, any time that you spend with family as well? Because I'm sure you lead by example at home as well. Yes, well, I'm uh, married mm -hmm. and uh, I have a daughter mm -hmm. who is 25 years old. And uh, we are all like-minded. We all are in, we feel the same way, we think the same way, all of us. And that's why it becomes easier as a family, like this, 
Daughters of India project is very, very important, not just to me, but to my wife and to my daughter. So we are all together in it and we all think the same way and we want to make the world a better place collectively as a family and as a social community and as a country also. Well, thanks to you, Mr. Nabatia. The world will become a one big family in no time with all the passion that you have, all the love that you're spreading, using basketball for it, as well as the talks you give, as well as the causes that you're part of. Uh, we are so grateful that you could come and talk to us today out of your busy schedule. Thank you very much for having me and uh, giving me the opportunity to talk about the various things basketball but more important rise of daughters of india which is the project which i'm very close to right now it's my passion to make this happen and have it successful so that we can have more educated girls in these villages to go to school and be a contributory factor to the coming generation so rise up daughters of India, go visit the website and do what you can from your part and we are making the world a better place. Thank you so much, Mr. Thank you Narvati. very Thank much. You. Thank you. So I, I was just going to ask you a Kakri request. You yes. are well known for a post that's become a trademark. If you could just, there you go. Go Raptors ears. go. Go Raptors go. And go daughtersofindia.ca. Go daughtersofindia.ca. Thank you Thank so you. much, sir. Thank you very much for having me here. Namaste. Namaste. So, ye the Mr. Nav Bhatia, jinhone hame ehsaas dilaya hai ki success is possible with hard work and genuine intentions, no matter what the challenges we have to face. Well, that's a wrap for this week's show. Thank you for watching us. Continue to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and write to me at spotlight at ethnicchannels.com. A special thank you to Mr. Dinesh Ramsey for my wardrobe today. Until next week, this is Amita signing off, encouraging you to rise up to your challenges and create your own spotlight.